It seems like all my life I have been chasing gold. When I was a kid, I wanted those gold stickers on my homework. When I was a teenager, I wanted that gold necklace. That is right. I wanted the FUBU jersey and the gold necklace to be the coolest kid in school. In my 20s, I wanted World of Warcraft gold so I didn't need to spend hours upon hours grinding for the gold that I needed to participate in raids. Blackwing Lair, I hate you to death. What do we do now? What do you mean? Now we can finally play the game. And now, in my 30s, all I want is a Kenny Pickett or Malik Willis RPA out of gold standard football. Let's get into it. What's going on YouTube? Run good back in the house coming at you again with a brand new product review and we are checking out some 2022 gold standard football a day before release day. Of course, this is the first off the line version. Uh, so we are going to get some extra parallels and I think an R a lower numbered RPA than we will find in hobby when it releases tomorrow. I want to say welcome to the channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as always, I do appreciate a like on my content as well. If you are enjoying the content that you are seeing, of course. Did you or did you not have a good time at the party? I had an awesome time. Shorter intro today, shorter video today. Only seven cards in this box. We are going to get two autographs. Uh, one first off the line exclusive base card. Uh, five autographs or memorabilia's. Um, from what I've seen of some of these first off the line boxes, typically it's three memorabilia and two autographs. I think I've only seen one box that might have had three autographs. You're never going to get five autographs unless you have an influencer box. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, we are going to look for the ultra rare inserts, including golden ticket and gold rush. As you can see, the product is basically a bar of gold cool packaging and this is uh the only packaging of this style that panini does you can tell they usually recycle their packaging and things like that so i actually commend them uh sticking to the gold theme every year this is a product that has been long standing it is the first product of the 2022 nfl crop uh first jersey rookie jersey autographs rookie patch autographs of the players in their pro uniforms this is the first product that we also have that is a high risk high reward style product uh with only a handful of cards for a large sum of money this one coming in at dutch auction sold last week uh i purchased high because i'm an idiot 100 million dollars um so i'm in these for a little under 500 dollars the floor went all the way down to i think 350 which was crazy because at the time the product was pre-ordering for about 450 typically you don't see first off the line fall that much lower than the floor uh it just makes more sense at that point to scoop up uh first off the line than hobby uh and this one stuck around for a while and it was very surprising because this is a short printed set and i'm going to show you why on the back it is a 300 card base set with 100 base cards, I believe, all numbered to 99 or less. So the whole base set is numbered to 99. 100 rookies uh, as well, numbered to 99. 42 rookie jersey autos, 29 double jerseys, and then uh, 29 triple jerseys. And then again, if you want to pause the video, there is everything on the back. They do a very good job sticking to that gold theme with cards like opulence and gold dust and uh, white gold. And uh, rose gold, all that fun stuff as well. Primes and laundry tags and all of the crazy stuff that you can find. I'm just excited. Excited for this one. We've had all of these products that have a ton of cards. You know, our last big product that came out was Elite, which will be one of our main products for a while until we get Mosaic and Score. But I'm not personally excited for Score. Looking forward to Mosaic, Optic Select, and Phoenix and all of those products. But we don't even have a release date. So for all we know... It could be sometime into 2023 until we see those products. Uh, I think we have Elements Football will be our next big hit, high risk, high reward product coming out in about a week or so. So let's go ahead and get into gold standard here. Excited to rip this one. Kicking things off, we have Travis Kelsey to 25 to 75. To 75 right on top. I don't have any cover cards, so we're just going to have to do it like this. 24 of 75 on the Kelsey. Again, this is the design kind of stays pretty similar year to year nothing too crazy it is on a 55 point card stock so a little bit thicker kind of has a premium feel to it that is one thing that i like about it 
Uh, here is going to be our first off the line parallel, 2 of 11. That is Quinn and Williams. The Jets with an impressive win this weekend over the Browns. Uh, thought the Jets were out of it, but Joe Flacco and company somehow got it done. Uh, Tyrion Davis Price for the 49ers. That is going to be 221 of 399. Of course, the Niners lost Lance this past week. Uh, you never want to see a young player go down, especially with an ankle injury with a mobile quarterback like Lance. But they have Jimmy G waiting in the wings, and thank God they didn't trade him. Um, you know, I, I don't think their their playoff hopes are dashed at all. If anything, maybe a little bit improved with somebody who's who's been around the block a time or two. Um, you know, if their long-standing quarterback going to get one more year at the reins before maybe Lance takes over now. Uh, Hall of Gold. That is going to be 92 of 199. Brian Dawkins. Eagles playing on Monday night. Actually, they're finishing up that game as I record this video right now. Kind of a cool design right there. You got his Hall of Fame bust right there. All right, next out we got TJ Hoosier Mama. Uh, 23 of 25. Oh, I really hope this next card is autographed. Uh, I really hope. Uh, 23 of 25, TJ Hushamanzilla, your fantasy... Uh, Great fantasy player, former one-time Seahawk as well, TJ Hushmanzada. Oh, I really hope this card is autographed. Steve Young, 20, 10 of 25. We will take that. I'd say a picture could be a little bit better. That is a Gold Fingers Steve Young, 10 of 25. Yeah, it's kind of a weird photo, him running away. <laughs> running away. Um... Hey, hey, I'll take that. I think that's one of the first times. I think this is might actually be my first Steve Young autograph. So there's a first time for everything in the hobby, I guess. And Steve Young, 10 of 25. Now, of course, I am a huge Seahawks fan. But growing up, my whole family's from the Bay Area. I was uh, I was forced to be a 49ers fan until I, until I could form my own opinions about which teams I liked. And as it turns out, when you live up in the Pacific Northwest... Kind of want to be a fan of the Seahawks, the Mariners, and the Supersonics. Uh, 20 of 25 on that Steve Young. Awesome hit right there. And then our final card is going to be 67 of 79. Trey McBride on our rookie jersey autographs. Uh, and that is going to be a Nouveau Riche, I believe it's pronounced. And uh, that's some French. My French. I'm, I'm not up on French. Uh, Nouveau Riche. Uh, Trey McBride. Probably not the best rookie um probably not yeah definitely not the best rookie um but still there's some potential there you know it's not malik willis it's not kenny pickett and, or one of the the sexy wide receivers that we've seen in the early going chris olave and drake london who scored a touchdown in that game uh on sunday but it is trey mcbride it is somebody with a little bit of potential so hey we will take it Overall, though, uh, like I said, with, uh, or not like I said, but with 2022 football, it is all about the quarterbacks and the skills position players. It's an interesting class. It's a class that I really like. I think that there are a lot of, a lot of contributors possible in this class. We saw it on Sunday. Uh, Drake London, Chris Ola, or not Chris Olave, uh, Aiden Hutchinson helping the Tigers, or Tigers, helping the Lions get a W. It's just not a class that has, you know, the hype that Lawrence, Lance, Fields, Wilson, Davis Mills. It just doesn't have those five big quarterbacks. Although we did see Malik in garbage time uh, that in that Titans and Bills game. It'll be interesting when we see Kenny Pickett take the field for the Steelers. If uh, maybe the Kenny Pickett craze, if he comes out of the gate firing, uh, throwing TDs and, and helping that Steelers team reach the playoffs. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if he can maybe help move this class a little more. I know there's just not a whole lot of hype for this class right now. It's still early in the season. I'm sure some of these skills position players will eventually break out and there will be some hype that drive them forward. Uh, overall, though, I think that Steve Young, definitely the best card in the box. 10 of 25. Probably good for around 100 bucks, if not more. I know Steve Young does have quite a few autographs in the hobby. Hushman's auto, kind of a throwaway auto. Dawkins and Tyrion Price, not going to be worth too much. I No, we got seven cards. And then, of course, the Kelsey, probably going to be worth like 10 bucks. That is going to do it for me today. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Gold Standard. Did you get any first off the line? Are you going to be ripping any hobby when it comes out tomorrow? Expect it to be coming out around $350 to $400 a box, depending on your local card shop's prices. That is going to do it for me. Take care, stay safe, and we'll catch you next time on Down the Road.